the James Webb Space Telescope is identifying objects in the dark ages that by best measurements we have are large, fully developed galaxies. And I'm told the lead researcher was so shocked by this, he spit out his coffee. Since it became operational last summer, the James Webb Space Telescope has created quite a stir. It is a scientific trailblazer, revealing remarkable details about galaxies, planets, stars and other fascinating cosmic objects. Although the telescope is still in the early stages of its cosmic expedition, it has already made a profound impact. And Webb, billed as the successor to the venerable Hubble Space Telescope, is also breaking new territory in terms of science excitement. People all across the world are sharing its images and creating fresh insights by modifying raw data. However, Neil deGrasse Tyson recently disclosed an unusual revelation made possible by the James Webb Space Telescope, which calls into question everything we thought we knew about the cosmos. What did Tyson reveal? And what is this JWST discovery? Join us as we unravel the latest terrifying discovery by the JWST. The Hubble Space Telescope has revolutionized our understanding of the universe through its captivating discoveries, ranging from the magnificent pillars of creation in the Eagle Nebula to the mind-boggling Hubble Ultra Deep Field, which captured the farthest galaxies ever observed. These extraordinary findings, including insights into the universe's age and evidence for the existence of black holes, have reshaped our understanding. However, astronomers and scientists have continually sought greater capabilities and a deeper understanding of the cosmos. In response to this quest, the James Webb Space Telescope has emerged as a remarkable technological achievement, poised to surpass its predecessor in every conceivable aspect, and it is indeed delivering on this promise. Over the past few months, the JWST has made numerous discoveries, with a recent revelation being the detection of 717 ancient galaxies that illuminated the universe during its early stages. According to a new study conducted as part of the JWST Advanced Deep Extragalactic Survey, JADES, these remarkably young galaxies exhibited intricate structures and clusters of star formation as early as 600 million years after the Big Bang. The study involved observing two small areas in the sky, one in the Ursa Minor constellation and another in the direction of the Fornax cluster. Within these regions, more than 700 previously unknown youthful galaxies were discovered, providing insights into the early cosmos. Kevin Hainline, an assistant research professor at the Stewart Observatory in Arizona and a lead author of the study, expressed the significance of these findings by likening the universe's entire timeline to a two-hour movie, with the observed galaxies representing the first five minutes. He emphasised that these galaxies mark the beginning of the processes responsible for creating the elements and complexity observed in the present world. During this short span of time, estimated to be between 370 million and 650 million years since the Big Bang, Hainline and his colleagues examined the JWST data and identified 717 young galaxies, surpassing previous predictions. Remarkably, these galaxies spanned thousands of light years, exhibited intricate structures and were actively forming stars in multiple clusters. Previously, the earliest galaxies we could see just looked like little smudges, and yet those smudges represent millions or even billions of stars at the beginning of the universe, Heinlein said in a statement. Now we can see that some of them are actually extended objects with visible structure. The combined areas investigated in this analysis are collectively known as Goods South, which stands for the Great Observatory's Origin Deep Survey. These regions have been extensively examined by major space telescopes, including Hubble, the Chandra X-ray Observatory and NASA's retired Spitzer. Despite the thorough previous investigations, an astounding 93% of the newly discovered galaxies identified by the JWST during JADES had never been observed before. But that's not the only noteworthy discovery made by the JWST recently. In the previous month, Webb detected indications of water vapour in the atmosphere of an exoplanet, specifically a gas giant that orbits its star in less than one Earth day. 
The exoplanet in question, named WASP-18b, is a gas giant approximately 10 times more massive than Jupiter, the largest planet in our solar system. WASP-18b exhibits extreme characteristics as it revolves around the Sun-like star WASP-18, situated approximately 400 light-years away from Earth. The planet maintains an average distance from its star of only 1.9 million miles, 3.1 million kilometers, in contrast to Mercury, the innermost planet of our solar system, which orbits the Sun at a distance of 39.4 million miles, 63.4 million kilometers. Due to its remarkably close proximity to the parent star, the temperatures in the atmosphere of WASP-18b are exceedingly high, causing most water molecules to dissociate, as stated by NASA. The ability of the JWST to detect remnants of water vapour in such circumstances is a testament to the remarkable observational capabilities of the telescope. The spectrum of the planet's atmosphere clearly shows multiple small but precisely measured water features, present despite the extreme temperatures of almost 5,000 degrees Fahrenheit, 2,700 degrees Celsius, NASA wrote in a statement. It's so hot that it would tear most water molecules apart, so still seeing its presence speaks to the web's extraordinary sensitivity to detect remaining water. WASP-18b, which was first discovered in 2008, has been the subject of investigation by various telescopes, including the Hubble Space Telescope, NASA's Chandra X-ray Space Telescope, the exoplanet hunter TESS, and the now-retired Spitzer Space Telescope. However, none of these space telescopes possessed the necessary sensitivity to detect water signatures in the planet's atmosphere. According to Anjali Piet, a postdoctoral fellow at the Carnegie Institution for Science, the subtle water features in the spectrum of WASP-18b were challenging to identify in previous observations. Thus, the detection of water features through the JWST observations brought about great excitement. Apart from its significant mass, extreme heat and close proximity to its parent star, WASP-18b is also tidally locked, meaning one side of the planet constantly faces the star, similar to the near side of the Moon always facing Earth. Consequently, there are considerable temperature variations across the surface of the planet. The measurements conducted by the Webb telescope allowed scientists to map these temperature differences in detail for the first time. The findings revealed that the most intensely illuminated regions of the planet can be up to 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit 1,100 degrees Celsius, hotter than the areas in the twilight zone. The existence of such substantial temperature variations was unexpected, leading scientists to speculate that there may be an as yet unknown mechanism preventing the even distribution of heat around the planet. Moving on to another remarkable discovery made by the JWST, Neil deGrasse Tyson recently shared a mind-boggling revelation about trillions of disappearing stars detected by the telescope. By analysing these vanishing stars, astronomers gain access to unprecedented information that would have remained hidden otherwise. Researchers meticulously explore the vanishing stars by carefully examining their patterns, wavelengths of emitted light, spectral characteristics, and distinctive features to comprehend the underlying mechanisms behind their celestial disappearances. Various theories attempt to explain the phenomenon of trillions of disappearing stars. One intriguing hypothesis, proposed by astrophysicists and Neil deGrasse Tyson, suggests that galactic mergers and interactions may be responsible. According to this theory, when galaxies collide or come close together, the gravitational interactions between their stars can significantly impact their orbits and configurations. Consequently, disturbances and disruptions occur within the stellar systems, resulting in the displacement or ejection of stars from their original positions. During galactic mergers, stars can be forcefully expelled from their galaxies and traverse new paths in space. These wandering stars may venture into unobservable regions of the universe, seemingly vanishing from our observations and adding to the mystery. The powerful gravitational forces unleashed during these cosmic encounters reshape the physical structures and dynamics of the galaxies involved, ultimately determining the fate of individual stars. The hypothesis of galactic mergers and interactions provides a plausible mechanism for the observed phenomenon, emphasizing the substantial consequences of galaxy mergers and collisions on star distribution and visibility. 
By studying the characteristics of galactic interactions and their impact on stellar systems, astrophysicists can unravel the complex dynamics driving the disappearance of stars. Continual observations, investigations, computer simulations and modelling yield valuable insights into the plausibility of this hypothesis. Scientists not only theorise but also test and experiment based on these theories. These tools allow researchers to recreate the conditions of galactic mergers, simulate disruptions in stellar systems and analyse the outcomes in comparison with observational data. This approach enables scientists to evaluate the likelihood and implications of galactic interactions as contributing factors to the phenomenon of disappearing stars. The hypothesis of galactic mergers and interactions, though compelling, is just one among several proposed theories by astrophysicists. Numerous ideas await exploration. Another theory considers cosmic explosions and supernovae as potential explanations for the disappearing stars. Supernovae, marking the end of massive stars, release immense energy and profoundly impact their fate. As a massive star nears the end of its cycle, it undergoes a complex transformation. The core collapses, triggering a fusion reaction that culminates in a colossal explosion. This explosion obliterates the star, releasing an extraordinary amount of energy. Even if the star could have survived a little longer, it would succumb to the collapse itself. If a star within our reach experiences such a catastrophic event, it would cease emitting detectable light, effectively vanishing from our view. However, what if some stars suddenly wink out of visibility? Based on our current knowledge, that should be impossible. Yet a group of astronomers has been investigating whether such seemingly impossible events actually occur. They compared decades of data to shed light on this phenomenon. Since its establishment in 2017, the VASCO project, Vanishing and Appearing Sources During a Century of Observations, has captivated scientists. Beatriz Villarol from the Nordic Institute of Theoretical Physics in Sweden explains their interest in studying various disappearing objects. Their ideal scenario involves discovering a star that has consistently been visible for as long as records exist, only to suddenly vanish without a trace, even when observed with the most powerful telescopes available. The project has attracted astronomers from different fields, recognising the potential of exploring historical records. Experts in active galactic nuclei, stellar physicists and SETI scientists among others have all found reasons to participate. While our current understanding suggests that stars change at a slow pace and significant disappearances should leave evidence, it is important to note that not all stars shine with constant brightness. Variable stars fill the sky, undergoing pulsations and fluctuations in luminosity. However, VASCO focuses on identifying stars that transition from complete stability to complete vanishing, a phenomenon that lacks extensive documentation. Such a discovery could lead to new understandings in physics. What are your thoughts on these recent discoveries by the JWST? Share your comments below.